Good morning and welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we're going to show you a really neat feature that's coming in 2211 called bundles. This allows you to easily create kits or any type of a bag if you do book clubs for your patrons or customers to check out. And we're really excited because Kelly and I are going to talk about something we love. <laughs> we are. We are going to talk about something we love. But this was had a lot of um, interest during our upgrade webinar. So we thought we would dive a little deeper and go through this process. There is already a blog post, so we'll link that as well. And we'll go some, through some more details um, in, in this blog post as well. So you have lots of resources. So in our example today, Kelly and I created a Gilmore Girls kit, and this is going to include some complete DVDs of the seasons, a little tour guide book to Connecticut, um, and Lauren Graham's book, and a few other cute things that they can check out and really get the whole Gilmore Girls experience. So the first thing that we've done is we have created a bibliographic record um, called the Gilmore Girl Set. So in, a set, in essence, this is our kit or our bag that we are going to put all of the items into. Um, one of the major features to turn on bundles where you get the ability to manage them is when you are creating, or in some cases, editing the record, you'll need to open your leader or change position seven of the bibliographic record to collection. That is, pivotal in order for you to create bundles within your system. So that gives you the ability. Yeah. You won't even see manage bundles if it's not there. So know that you did it right. Once you see that manage bundles. Now that we've changed position seven, we're going to come down to our holdings. Now, when we originally created this kit, we've created the grab bag, what we've called it. Now you can call this whatever you want. If you're calling it a kit or a STEM bag, and I even brought it an example here, my local library, we've just checked out a STEM book bag um, and it has everything in here from bug catchers to a little Florida nature guide um, and a butterfly book um, and tour guides for Deansville that we can walk around. So however you set you know, these things up in your library system, that will be your first step. You want an item in there that you can add the rest of your items into. So now that we have this manage bundles, what this will do is this will create a new row. You'll see an item, add items to bundles button and remove from bundle. Once I click add to bundle, that's just gonna give me a modal window and I can start scanning in my barcodes. So these are items that we have existing in our collection. So if I come in here, we'll start scanning in. So 682, 569. That's going to give us our first one. We'll do 682570. That gives us our second one. And I'm just going to submit those, close. Um, and you'll see that brings us our first two. Um, that gives us our complete seven seasons and our Lauren Graham book. Now we're going to add three more just so you can see how easy it is to, to add these in. So we're going to come in and we'll have 682379, 682. 378 and 682377. Now that adds in our Gilmore Girls, the official cookbook, <laughs> Insider's Guide to Connecticut, um, and our Gilmore Girls Companion, a behind the scenes look at the television series. So this is a complete, um, you know, girls trip or weekend or whatever you're doing to really get behind the scenes. Maybe you're taking a summer trip. Kelly, we should do that. I, I was just driving through Connecticut last weekend and thought about the Gilmore Girls. And I was like, oh, oh I wish we could stop by. But um, this is just, you know, I think this is something that Jesse and I would totally check out at anyone's library. So if you do already have this, let us know and we'll come by and pick we'll it up. <laughs> um, you, you will see this remove from bundle. Again, you can scan the item in. You accidentally scan the wrong one or you just want to remove something. Okay. So now that we've added those in, you'll see over here, it gives us an update that it has five items in that bundle and we are ready to check things out. Now, for those of you who are wondering what those other items look like, I'm gonna manage bundles again and we'll come down here. And I'm just gonna open one of these in, an, in another screen so you can see what that looks like. When we look at the Gilmore Girls Complete Series Collections, 
it gives it a not for loan status because it's added in the bundle Gilmore Girls set. That way people know that it's not available as a single checkout. It's available within a bundle itself. And Koha is automatically doing that when the item is added to the bundle itself. I mean, how fantastic. Probably you'll be able to see this in the OPEC and go, oh, I can get a whole set of things. Yes. I mean, that's awesome. You wouldn't know about it. Like, this is just great. So now let's talk about a little bit about the checkout process and what that looks like and checking things back in. So Kelly, um, let's go and let's go and check things out in here. And, and the one thing that you talked about is, you know, creating that item type, maybe for a grab bag or a kit. Remember, if you do create an item type in the system, you will need to associate a circulation rule with that new item type. So if this is new for you and you've never done this and this seems like a fantastic idea, know that you should have a circulation rule associated with that new item type. Perfect. And you can see we have one in there for a grab bag adult. It has 21 days. So, you know, just make sure you set that all up. All right, good, Kelly. Now let's go in and let's check this out. Um, You're going to fight over who gets it? You or me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to come in here and we're going to begin to check things out. All right, so we're going to enter in. So Jesse, you're just going to enter that barcode of the actual kit that we have um, associated all those other items with. So it's going to tell me now in my checkouts, I have the ability to see, I have that Gilmore girls set checked out. Beautiful. So let's fast forward in time. Um, Kelly has watched all the things driven all the places with Jesse. Um, and now we're going to check that item back in. So I'm going to come over to check in. We're going to scan that barcode one more time. Now, this is going to tell the circulation staff that there are multiple contents within that bundle. This is an extra step that Koha has taken to confirm the items in the bundle. Now, there is an active enhancement in the community that in the future, you'll be able to choose if you bypass this step. That way, people that want to confirm items that are in the bundle, um, they can do that. People that want to bypass confirming that things are in there can turn this option off. But for now, um, we do have to enter all the barcodes to make sure that everything in the bundle came back. It so does what I'm say if you don't scan them in, they're going to be automatically marked lost, which is really great. It's a great time mm -hmm. saver to know like, hey, I didn't get the, you know, the <laughs> seven discs or the seven seasons that's going to be marked lost. Yep. And it's really nice because it'll enter in your, it'll select them yellow once you scanned everything in. So at least for shorter things, you know, where you might have just five or seven items, you'll be able to see that information right away. You know, and it's nice that that the checkout is just one checkout, like here, have this entire canvas bag of book club books or have this science backpack. And then the check-in process, it's done maybe separately or behind the scenes. So you're not doing them one by one in front of the patrons. Yeah. And you'll notice here, it tells me that five of five were verified. So we've scanned everything in that bundle. And as Kelly mentioned, if one of them is missing, it will automatically mark it missing within the, the record. Now that we've checked all five of those items in, you'll notice we get bundle verified. We can view that contents list. You know, there is a button to print it off, which is kind of nice, I guess. You could maybe print it off and put it in, I don't know. Um, and then down below, you'll see it does tell us Kelly checked in those items. So again, this is a great feature now that you can easily manage you know, kits or book club kits or STEM kits, whatever you're using. Um, and, you know, make it easier for, for your patrons, your customers. This is fantastic. I love it. I'm super excited to know what folks, I know libraries have been bundling things in previously yeah. to this, and I think this will definitely streamline the process. So um, this is great. So have a great week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.